Hey, Coach, so glad you found us on YouTube. Let me know if I can be of any help. Leave a comment down below. Make sure you subscribe, please. Uh, also, if you're looking for a little bit more depth, please check out teachhoops.com. There'll be a, something up one of these corners up here. I can never remember which one. Or down below, it is a community of basketball coaches, like-minded basketball coaches, tons of resources, hundreds of hours of videos, um, office hours, one-on-one -on -one calls with me. You name it, it's in there. Uh, let me know if you have any questions uh, and enjoy the video. Thanks. Practice. So if you've got 12 on a team, you can go through this pretty quick. And this makes everybody work. All right, can you guys jump in over here? Um, Rich, let's get the ball in the middle. Why don't you come here? Just one of you switch, take the outside lane. All right, you can stay in behind him. That's fine. Let's take the outside. Now, from a four man, from this four man drill, or just two man passing, we go into a three man passing drill. I love this drill because I think this makes, really puts into account what we want to do. I want the ball down the floor quickly. And if you can get players to get in the habit of every time they get the ball, they get a rebound, they get an outlet, first thing they're going to do is look up. And they know where they're running. I think it really helps and I think it gets the ball down the floor. I don't like to have teams rest on defense. You're going to play defense, I don't want you to rest. I want you to have to sprint back every time because we're coming. We're going to make you play defense. And if you're going to come at us, we're going to go right past you. Now you're going to chase us. And I think it's a good philosophy. It's worked really well. All right. We're going to make an outlet pass from the middle line. You're going to come out about foul line extended. You're going to catch here. Okay, so you're going to make that pass to him as the outlet. You are going to run a sprint pattern right up to the middle. You're going to curl behind. Right to the middle, you're going to make that pass. Now you're going to cut hard right behind him. Little three-man weave. Two dribbles, maybe one. Now you're going to hit him on the layup. Beautiful thing. Great, great. Now, you're going to get the rebound. You're going to take it out of bounds. Who took the shot? You took the shot. So now you're going to get the rebound. You're going to call out. No, no. You got the ball. You're going to be the outlet. Whoever takes the shot, you're going to call the outlet. You've got to listen. Because as you're coming through, you're going to rebound. Now you're going to make that pass. Hit the outlet. Flash in middle. You're going behind. You're going behind. One hard, two draw. There he goes. Makes the layup. Beautiful thing. And if you can make the ball move, two pass, two pass, three man weave. It's a two pass drill. We call it three man. They get in the habit of not dribbling the ball to death. Now, can they do it without the dribble? Mm, yeah, they can. All right, I've had several girls teams that can do it without the dribble. But it requires an all out sprint to get there. And I don't know if I'm going to push these guys that hard tonight, but we can try. They've got to make three lines. You're going to make two passes for a layup, two passes for a layup, and you're going to call the outlet. Whoever scores there becomes the outlet. So it's going to go either way. Now you're going to come back and make the layup here. All right, we'll try it for live. Beautiful thing. Good. Cut middle. You three guys step up, get a ball. There's the layup. Nice job. Good. Good call. Run it hard. Good. Get behind. There we go. Nice. It's a tough one to get the big guys to run, but if you can get a big guy running every day, hopefully come January and February, they're going to get the habit of they've got to run the floor. I love watching teams where big guys just trail behind. I don't know why. Go. Run the floor. You're part of the offense. You alright? Good. You got to do this? You feel set, coach? Here we go. Good. Cut middle. Beautiful. Make that layup. That's a layup. All right. Call it. Outlet. Score. Call it. Good. Right there. Call. There you go. Middle. Come on, coach. Beautiful thing. And he flies. Now, what I put in with this is a time limit. I'll put five minutes on the clock. They've got to do it. Once we get into the season, once we get going and I've got the team picked and I get rid of some of the kids who maybe can't make a layup consistently or they just don't come back, then I'll put in a number. Now I'll start the year 21. We'll play blackjack. We'll go 21. You've got to make 21 in a row. That number will go up. We'll make it 30. You want to make it 40, you can. 
They've got to make 40 in a row. Count it out, make your layups. This way they're getting in the habit of running the floor, passing the ball, putting the ball in front of a player. How many times do you watch a college game or a pro game, even high school games, my God, and the ball winds up behind somebody? Kids making a great cut to the basket and the pass is back here. This makes them, forces everybody to put the ball in front, not behind. So, hey coach, I hope you enjoyed that video. If you're looking for a mentor, me, if you're looking to become a better coach, check out teachhoops.com for coaches who want to get better. 14-day free trial, all the resources you would ever want.